Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Brittany Delamora and um, today I am going to share with you some of the most awkward moments that I had while being in church after leaving the porn industry. I was in the porn industry for seven years of my life and so coming into church was a completely different environment and it wasn't something that I was used to. I didn't grow up in church. I didn't know a lot about church. Um, and so it was all brand new to me. It was a total learning curve. Um, but before I go there, I wanted to share with you guys that our new book, me and my husband wrote, it, it is out. And we're so excited about this book. It is called A Call to Purity. A Call to Purity living a lifestyle of purity. Um, it's not a no sex before marriage book, although there is one chapter on sexual purity, but that also pertains to pornography, not just no sex before marriage. Um, but there's also, there's 14 chapters in the book and 13 of those chapters are dealing with the condition of your heart. So if you wanna pick up this book, A Call to Purity, it is available on our website, lovealwaysministries.com. Um, and it's also available on Amazon, Barnes Nobles, wherever books are sold. And I got my super cool Love Always shirt on. It's really cool on the back. You'll have to check it out, lovealwaysministries.com. Anyways, let's get back. Let's skip that commercial. Let's get back to what we're talking about here. Okay, so after I left porn, I started going to church. And I, one of the most awkward things was that I didn't know how to dress. Like I went from this industry that was very, very provocative and into church. And in church, you know, the Bible says in First Timothy that we're supposed to dress modest and respectable. And I didn't know that. And so I would watch like the senior pastor and the worship people and just kind of see how they dress. And I would kind of try to mock their um their attire however i was on a budget like and i mean like a really really tight budget like i went from making you know 30 35000 dollars a month to 11 dollars and 25 cents an hour friends i was broke and and people think oh well you had so much money in the porn industry no the last three and a half years in porn i had a pimp and before that i was a full-blown drug addict so i left that money the industry with my last paycheck and that was it 1500 bucks so I didn't have any money. So I would go to this store that would have like inexpensive clothes and um, I would buy like the leggings and all of that. But I didn't realize how like when you put leggings on, they stretch out. And um, anyways, I remember sitting in a young adult service one night and I just felt like my outfit is so cute. I look good, all confident. Um, and I get home that night and somebody called me and said, Hey, uh, I didn't know how to tell you this at church, but I just wanted to let you know that like, uh, you, you know, maybe you should like wear a longer shirt or get some new pants. And I was like, why? And then this person said, because you could totally see like your bright orange thong through your pants. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And I ran and I looked in the mirror. I was so mortified. I was like, I can't believe that. Why didn't you tell me? I would have put my jacket over my bottom. I can't believe you let me sit through all of church. And like, I served in the church ministry. So I wasn't just um, like sitting down the whole time. I was up, I was walking around. I was like, Hundreds of people saw me like this and you didn't even tell me. I can't believe it. Are you my friend or not? Like, if you're my friend, you should have told me. Like, I'm so embarrassed. Um, and so that was one of the most, like, for me, that was just so, I was so embarrassed. Uh, there was a guy also there that I liked, aka my now husband. I'm like, all these people saw me. And I was really embarrassed because I did, at that point, like, um, like when I first went to church, I wasn't obviously didn't have the conviction to dress modest. And so there was a time when I would go to church that I dressed provocatively because that was all I knew. But once I started reading the Bible and started spending time in the presence of God and started to understand like how much he loves me that like, I don't need to show off my body for attention. Then I had that conviction. And so then it became just like embarrassing for me, you know, and then I remember another time after getting baptized, somebody told me, 
that I needed to put my towel over my chest because they could see. And I was just like, I had all of these embarrassing moments um, in, in this all happened like in the first year of being a Christian. And for me, these things were humiliating. And so I just want to share this stuff with you because, you know, I, I see a lot of, um, you know, people that go around talking about like modesty and, and preaching modesty and, and that is biblical and I totally get that. But at the same time, like, let's give people grace because if there were people in church, they would have been like hard, like that were in that like religious mindset. They would have been hardcore judging me for the outfits that I was wearing. But I swear with all my heart, the Lord knows I was trying my absolute best. And another thing is that there were women in the church that were leaders and pastors and they would dress in really tight clothing and so like there was a time when I was trying to transition that I thought that that was appropriate um and so I think too like if you're watching this and you're a leader in the church know that people look to you um for guidance even when you don't know that they're looking at you they are looking at you because they want guidance from you because they expect that you are leading the the way and that you're leading in a way of purity because and that you're biblically leading so also i just pray that every leader and every pastor walks with that conviction that they know like hey like like people that are new in in christ like they're looking to me to see how i dress how i act how i talk um because they're trying to learn you know and so that's where i was so yeah like if you see somebody dressing crazy in church like like, don't be so quick to judge them, you know, especially when they're new believers. Like, you have no idea what their heart is. You have no idea. Like, maybe they're walking in for the first time and they don't even know the word of God. And like, to them, that's just not a conviction yet because they're brand new to church. So, um, yeah, I just want to share all that so you know, like, from my perspective, what was going on in my heart when I was dressing like that. Like, it was unintentional. Um, I didn't know. I wasn't trying to lead people into sin. I had already repented of that. It was just some honest mistakes that were actually really humiliating for me because I had no idea. So the lesson I learned from that time, <laughs> when you look yourself in the mirror to check your outfit, <laughs> check your behind too because you just don't know. <laughs> I did not even think of that. So anyways, um, if you have any questions, I don't know why you would have any questions about this, but maybe you have questions. Who knows? Write them in the comments below. Um, if there's any other videos that you want to see or hear and uh, you just want to gain my perspective from somebody that was way off in the world that never knew Jesus to somebody that has been set on fire for Jesus um, and you want to know about that transition, then just let me know in the comments below. If you have any video requests or anything, also let me know in the comments below. Don't forget a call to purity. You guys, this book is going to bless some people. Um, it is going to bless you. And if you're a Patreon member, I am going to give you, well, I've already given you a discount code. So check on Patreon. You get a discount, 10% off. Um, but yeah, I just know this book is really going to bless some people. I believe that it's really going to change some lives. So a call to purity. Don't be afraid of the word purity. It's not a scary word. It's actually a beautiful word. It is the blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. So purity is on God's heart and um, it's a beautiful thing. It's not something scary and it's not something to frown upon. And it's not something that's impossible because purity doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. Purity means that you are in constant pursuit of Jesus and that you're uncontaminated, that you're uncontaminated from that hurt that is in your heart. You're uncontaminated from lust and anger and unforgiveness and bitterness and jealousy. Like you just truly have just a pure heart. You're, you have a clean heart, um, but it doesn't mean that you're perfect. So get the book, you'll learn more. I love you guys. And I hope that this video has made you laugh because <laughs> I like to make people laugh. Um, and I hope that it has blessed you in some way. All right, guys, I love you. And I hope you have a great day.